Yes. And even though we said that the uh, uh, Chinese people have been using ginseng for thousands of years, but the first pioneer uh, pharmacological studies to try to evaluate the, uh, the ginseng's uh, clinical efficacy uh, work was done by one of the Russian professor, Professor Bregman, who did the job uh, around uh, some 50 years ago. And he did, <coughs> he started with the human being. He found out that the Korean soldiers are divided into two groups, uh, 10 in each, and the, the group of soldiers receiving ginseng seems uh, uh, run faster than the control group. And then later on, he also found out that radio operators with this job must have been disappeared nowadays because of all the several phone, whatever. But however, in the old days, and he also found that the, the, the group of radio operators receiving ginseng seems to send the, the message faster and more accurately. And after two human being, uh, uh, human studies, then he moved to animal study, and he found out that the mouse receiving ginseng do swim longer than the control group. So this is the, 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 the gentleman on the right is the uh, Professor uh, Brackman, and then uh, the one on the left it was me. I saw him 20, 30 years ago <laughs> in Chicago, back in Chicago. But however, as I just indicated, Brackman uh, he, he emphasized that his study on ginseng was based directly on human beings. Unlike those uh, studies on Western chemical, usually Western chemical may start with with uh, uh, sales, sale lines, and they start with a small rat, uh, a cat, or a dog. Even if it, it's if active with monkey, and it may not be work with human beings. So since we are going to take it, uh, good for the human is the best evidence for that. But however, as we check one of the herbals in uh, TCM, uh, some almost 1,000 years ago, uh, Tu Jing Ben Chao, one of the herbals, and which uh, I like uh, to just translate a paragraph into English. And the, uh, the, the, in this herbal, it mentioned that in order to determine if a ginseng is a genuine, is a real one or not, have two people, one chewing ginseng while the other has nothing, walk together for two or three miles. The person who has nothing will be short of breath while the, actually it's nature, right? While the other person, if he was taking genuine ginseng, would still feel easy. So, of course, nowadays we have all kinds of uh, uh, device or uh, method to identify whether this ginseng is genuine or not. We're using chemical analysis or whatever. But it was 1,000 years ago. So, of course, we were wondering why our ancestors invent this method to find out whether this the ginseng is a genuine or not in another herbal, which provide four photos or well, four graphic uh, uh, of the ginseng. It says that uh, those four species are all ginseng, but from the very beginning or from uh, Professor Kim's slide, you can see ginseng belongs to a BAC family, the major features with, with five libra. So the one of starting with this one, this one, even though the, the other three are, are not the, the, the real ginseng. Only the very last one, it seems to have five libra, right? Only 25% are genuine one. The other 75% are not the, the real one. No wonder our ancestors have to invent that, um, and that device, uh, that, that method to tell whether the ginseng is a real or not. Very interesting. Uh, so uh, after the uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the the Russian uh, professor did the anti fatigue studies, uh, nowadays uh, some people try to do the and repeat the animal model the animal study again. But however, of course, in the old day he used the animal swimming model. To them. But nowadays, due to the animal protecting animal rights. We just cannot do this type of animal study anymore because the end point was all the right get gone, right? So uh, now that we try to uh, uh, change to a treadmill running machine. So as we put the right on the machine, usually he, 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 when he's uh, um, active, then he will follow the pace of the, uh, the treadmill. 
until he get uh, uh, tired or get fatigued, just like the second one right here, he's going to fall down. But if the rat is really exhausted, when he falls on the floor, he will lie down, something like this, doing like that, right by the of, of breath. But when they, actually, when we see the rat fall down, he was not lying there. He was running away. So he was maybe, as we understand, the rat is not exhausted, not exhausted at all. He may be just nervous, and when he's nervous, he's sweating, and when he's sweating, he just cannot hang out to the queer. So we change to the other model. Instead of running on the, on, on the center, we try to run on the our surface. So it's a closed system. And then the, the uh, let me see, the, uh, actually the wheel are moving counterclockwise. Okay, when the wheel moves to the right, the, the right will go in to the left until he gets fatigued. And when he gets fatigued, he doesn't move, but however the wheel is still moving backward. Right? So when he is uh, active, he will, you are going to see he's uh, in about uh, seven to nine uh, o'clock position. But when he gets tired, you know, he, with head down to about four to six uh, uh, hours position, we you know he get tired. Also, well, nowadays we also use this running machine, and then when we have the uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, <coughs> The dog, the machine goes forward, and then the light will go against the direction of the uh, of the device until uh, until the light get tired, and he cannot move forward, and then he will be stuck on this part. But however, we do have the electric electric current here, so he if he just he is active, and yet he just don't like to run. And then he's going to receive electric current. And then, in, usually in that case, if he's still active, he's going to jump up again, keep running. So our end point was, if the uh, the rat, even though receiving electric current at this this stage, and after 10 or 15, 15 seconds, yet he still not be able to move, jump up again, we will regard it as tired. Again, we and yes, through this model, we also found yes, indeed, Korean red ginseng to have anti fatigue activities. And then, of course, uh, we have uh, from the published paper, we just found that the uh, Korean red ginseng to have immunity effect and also anti cancer. A lot of people had just, uh, Professor Kim just mentioned from his uh, models. And some uh, about ten, nine or ten years ago, I do publish a research paper in the integrative cancer therapy, one of the famous journals nowadays. And and also, the uh, uh, just uh, last month, I, uh, I I also work with the other colleagues, and we just have a paper published in the evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine, one of the uh, top ten uh, journals in the field. And we do found that the Korean red ginseng to suppress metastasis of human hepatoma cells. Because as we understand that the, uh, the uh, uh, hepatocellular carcinoma is one of the most common uh, cancer disease in Taiwan. And most patients, when we was diagnosed with SHCC, to die within one year after diagnosis mostly because of the metastasis to other organs in the, in the body. And through our study, we do found that the Korean red ginseng can inhibit the uh, metastasis of those cell, uh, cell tissues. And also, uh, lastly, uh, similar to uh, Professor Kim's uh, study, yes, indeed, we do found that the Korean red ginseng uh, even though, as I mentioned, some 1,800 in our ancient herbal mentioned ginseng is good for memory, right? But in our study, we also found that and the, the experiment is very quite uh, easy. We have a chamber which divided into two, uh, uh, into two chambers, uh, and then one in dark while the other with the light. And when we, we put the light in the chamber, Instantly, he's going to jump in, in the dark. Okay, that's the nature of the rat. Go into the product uh, uh, motion. 
And then once he go into the dark room, we close the door, and then we push the, 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 the electric switch, and then give him a shock. And then instantly, this door is going to open, the light is going to jump out immediately. So after a two or three trial in the pretest, and then we can uh, divide the right into uh, the group receiving the Korean the ginseng or those without one. And then if the right have better memory, he still and still uh, still uh, uh, memor memorize that once if he to go into the dark, he's going to receive shock, electric shock, right? So in the end then then you will end up to hanging around in the in, in the uh, uh, light room longer than the other control group, okay? So yes, indeed, we do see the uh, Korean the ginseng to have uh, memory um, improving uh, activities. So this is the device we use. And nowadays, uh, we also use uh, water mass uh, models. We have a swimming, uh, swimming pool for the red, and which in camera connect to the computer, so on and so forth. So uh, this the uh, the swimming pool is not big. It's about you know, two di two meters in diameter. You just one step, the other thread. That's it. Why is so small? It's not for you to swim. Okay, it's good enough for the our red. Okay, and also we do put the concrete stand, which is about two centimeter under the, uh, the, the water. And then so during the pilot studies, we're going to see that uh, the rat will try to go on this concrete step, so that in that case, he don't even need to swim in around. So uh, by during the training period, we let the, 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 the rat understand somewhere in the pool, there's a, a, a concrete where he can go up and then relax, right? So uh, our, uh, our, our, our end point of the study was for those, great, those group of, uh, of, 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 red, uh, of, of red receiving ginseng, seems uh, go faster and then go a short uh, path to get up to the uh, concrete stand. And then end up, we conclude that yes, indeed, Korean red ginseng to improve the uh, the memory, and of course in the uh, TCM we have been uh, the uh, Korean ginseng was have a blood sugar lowering effect. Actually, clinically, uh, there's a famous prescription we call Bai Hu Jia Ginseng Tang. So it's uh, with the ginseng to combination with the Bai Hu Tang one of the prescription. Actually, it's a very famous or very popular formula for the treatment of diabetes. And ginseng is a major ingredient in that uh, uh, popular formulas. And then also have liver protecting effect. And of course, ginseng is a very old, uh, all treasured uh, herbs from Korea. But nowadays, we try to use most modern research technique, particularly molecular biology technology, try to uh, 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 illustrate the uh, clinical efficacy of these uh, famous herbs. And of course, this actually, this are uh, the uh, the slide provided to me a few days ago through our uh, Singapore uh, counterpart. Yes, indeed, yes, those are the questions, uh, the, the, the things that are popular in Singapore. Uh, as he says, uh, one in three Singaporean, uh, Singaporean will develop diabetes when they reach 16. Yes, actually in Taiwan it's also popular, yes. But as I mentioned to you, uh, Korean red ginseng in combined with the Bible Taiwan will be very uh, uh, famous of technical uh, TCM prescriptions to help and actually a lot of TCM doctors to use it clinically for the treatment of uh, diabetes disease. And of course, that we also found out, yes, uh, the uh, cancer, actually it's a worldwide not only for Singaporean, okay? Cancer disease is a, uh, it really, it's a, 
is um, num still a number one killer, and not only in Singapore, but also in the world. So as uh, Professor Kim, uh, as an uh, experiment, or also my own uh, study, particularly the last paper just published last month, to indicate yes, indeed, Korean ginseng uh, can help in the treatment of the uh, cancer disease. So with this, I, uh, I welcome your comment on this. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chang. And now we'd like to open up the floor to all our media friends present today to ask any burning questions you have to our experts on the panel here. So if you have any question at all, just raise your hand and address it to any of our professors and our representatives from the Korea Ginseng Corporation. <laughs> 